video, I'm going to make a customized Barbie to be my avatar on camera. I'm not the type of person who likes to appear in front of the camera in person, so I have noticed other YouTubers have little uh, animated figures that represent them, and some of them use dolls, dolls that they've customized themselves to be their on-camera persona, or just like their mascot. And of course, you've probably heard that uh, my Froggy Stuff channel has partnered with Fresh Dolls and they actually have a froggy doll coming out. I'm not going to be able to do anything that fancy, but the reason that I was so excited about this fair-skinned curvy Barbie is because her skin tone is very similar to mine, and so is her body shape. But neither her face nor her hair look anything like mine. You might have heard me in my last video highlighting 2018 fashionistas, how I really wanted to find this one, number 88, uh, because I thought maybe her face might be a better match. Certainly her hair color is. However, she is an original body type. And then I also saw this one. Uh, she's an older release. I thought her skin tone was a good match and maybe her general face shape. So let's get these two ladies out of the box and take a closer look. So here they all are together, out of their packaging. Let's first do a skin tone comparison. So these two ladies look like a very close match. You can see their skin tone, very close skin tone match. Probably the same skin tone. However, while I love this lady's face shape, her mouth isn't quite wide enough. Her nose is just so cute as a button tiny. That's not me. I just have a wider nose than that, and I kind of have a big mouth when I smile, so I just don't see this as a close enough match. Also, I would have to reroot this doll's hair. Then we have these ladies together, and there does seem to be a bit of a skin tone difference here. Yeah, definitely not a perfect match. Well, this lady's face shape isn't exactly like mine. Her mouth is wider, her nose is wider, and she has blue eyes and purple hair, which means I have very little work to do to make her more like me. I feel like we should give this head swap a try. Before I do any head swapping, though, I should probably point out <laughs> what the details about this doll. So she is an original body type. Uh, she comes wearing this adorable unicorn pegasus shirt. It velcros in the back. She's wearing little jean shorts. Printing on the shorts appears on both sides and it velcros in the back. She's wearing these kind of goldish brown boots with a fringe detail. And she's wearing this cool clear wristband. Her hair is shades of like lavender and I would almost say like a periwinkle blue with some tinsel, it looks like. And she has the basic points of articulation at the neck, shoulder, and hips. This doll is also an original Barbie body type with the same articulation. She comes wearing this little red teddy bear t-shirt that says girls rule. It velcros in the back. She's wearing this pretty awesome gold skirt that also velcros in the back. And she's wearing these black ankle length boots. And she is also wearing this gold bracelet that unfortunately keeps falling off. So in order to remove the heads, we're going to have to use some boiling water because every time I try to take a head off of a Barbie doll, I have to soften the head first. We have a bowl of boiling hot water. Please remember, you need carrot supervision when dealing with anything hot. You also need a plastic bag. You place the doll in the plastic bag and dunk her forehead in the hot water. I left her in for about 10 seconds and it seemed to it seems to have done a really good job in softening it. So I'm gonna try very carefully. So here they are, head swapped. Uh, the made to move head was very hard to remove. I actually had to dip her back in like two more times for about 10 seconds at each time. Um, our fashionista head was actually very easy to remove and I only had to heat her up for about 10 seconds. Now, there definitely is a skin tone difference, but I really don't think it's noticeable enough at all to bother me. It definitely might bother some people. But all in all, I think I'm happy with this so far. So, 
The next step is to make her hair curly because I have curly hair. I don't have straight hair. To begin that process, I'm going to first wash her hair and then I am going to curl it using pipe cleaners. So I washed the doll's hair. She's currently in a doll stand. And it's kind of precarious. I also combed it out. And I'm probably gonna start on this side. I cut the pipe cleaners in half. So I have like two good sized pieces. Now I'm going to clip up part of her hair so it's out of the way. So here she is with her hair all styled. It's wild and curly like mine. Mine is usually out of control. For outfit, I chose my logo t-shirt. Uh, there's an Etsy seller and I'll link to her below who makes customized doll shirts. And I sent her my logo and she made these for me. I don't know that she's doing customized shirts right now, but she still has an Etsy shop. She is also wearing some curvy Barbie shorts, and these sneakers. And just a note, which I did not realize before I started this customization, that these, this curvy made to move Barbie, her feet are actually bigger than the other Barbies I own. So these were the only shoes I had that would fit her. All the other shoes were actually too small. And I think they only fit her because they're able to stretch in the back, but nothing else really fit her. I also gave her these Barbie glasses because I often wear glasses. I need them for distance, but I don't always wear them. So there she is without the glasses. I'm pretty happy with this customization. Um, I kind of wish the hair had turned out a little curlier actually, um, but I think I might put it up anyway because I usually wear my hair up in like a ponytail. But I also usually wear a hoodie and I was very fortunate to find an Etsy seller who makes Barbie hoodies. And I didn't want just a sweatshirt, like a pullover sweatshirt that's a hoodie. I wanted one that opens in the front because this is the kind of hoodie I wear. So I can't wait to try this on. So here I am in the hoodie and my hair up as usual. I really love the way this doll turned out. So if I'm a toy collector, then so is the doll version of me, which means I need some doll sized toys. So here I have World's Smallest. This is a company that makes uh, tiny versions of toys. I have the World's Smallest Barbie and the World's Smallest Care Bear plush. Here we have, I believe this is Grumpy Bear, and the 1959 version of Barbie. I got the World's Smallest Barbie, I found her at Walmart, and I found the Care Bear at Target on clearance. The Care Bear is listed for ages three and up, and this Barbie is listed for ages six and up, and I think it's because of the small, tiny, little glasses that come with her. World's Smallest Toys are made by a company called Super Impulse Limited. So let's get these out of the box. So here we have a tiny Barbie, and she's very little. She does have articulation at the hips and the shoulders and the neck. She has molded on hair and painted on bathing suit. And she has molded on little black shoes. Now these are her sunglasses, which they actually cannot be worn. 
It's just a little plastic piece in the shape of sunglasses, but they don't unfold, so the doll can't wear them. Then we have the Care Bear, who is soft and plushy. Love his little frown. Um, you can see he has the little heart on his bum. And I'm probably gonna cut this tag off because it's so big. He's cute! So there I am in doll form, holding a tiny Barbie. It's a Barbie holding a Barbie. So cute! This project was really fun to do, and I hope you enjoyed watching the results.